friends, difficulties in life come only to those who have the courage to face them. Life is full of challenges and everyone has to confront them. It depends on how a person deals with these difficulties and how they make decisions and struggle in the face of them. Understanding problems, tackling them head on and maintaining mental strength define a person's capacity and fighting spirit. Friends, patience, resilience, and the ability to find solutions help individuals make decisions and fight against difficulties. Friends, without hardships, a person cannot rebuild themselves. Therefore, saying that difficulties come only to those who have the capacity to face them is not entirely true. What is needed is to confront adverse situations with determination and make every possible effort because every problem comes with a solution. Those who fight find a way out of any trouble. Friends, it's comforting to believe that challenges only come to those who have the strength to endure them. Because if that were true, no one would ever be driven to take their own life in the face of difficulties. We wouldn't see instances of people who, overwhelmed by problems, commit suicide along with their families. If a person were chosen to face difficulties because they are capable, they would never end their life. Rather, they would overcome challenges and succeed. Friends, today we bring a story of Gautama Buddha, which will never let you lose in life. Once an elderly man who had been a lawyer came to Gautama Buddha and started talking. He asked Buddha, if it's true that difficulties only come to those who have the strength to face them. This time, Gautama Buddha became a bit angry and opened his eyes. He started explaining to the lawyer, Look, sir, an honest person faces difficulties. I agree with your statement, but let me tell you that in today's world, many people get troubled by an honest person. You may not believe it, but you and I endure so much corruption that when we encounter an honest person, we see them as crazy. The reason for this is our habits of giving bribes and telling lies. Recall how many times you must have used bribes or connections to get things done. And whenever you come across an honest person who neither takes bribes nor accepts your recommendations, instead of appreciating their honesty, you insult them and think, who does he think he is turning down our money and influence? We think this way because we are so immersed in corruption that we have lost the habit of dealing with honesty. That's why, when we encounter an honest person, we can't accept that a rare species of honesty still exists in the world. Now let's come to why honest people face problems. For this, let me tell you about an incident that happened to an honest person two months ago. Two months ago, an elderly man, about 76 years old, from Delhi, had a property in Rohini, Delhi, that had been taken over by a builder. His case had been going on for the past seven years. I told him, Sir, your property won't be vacated as long as it's a civil case while you are still alive. You'll keep going in circles like this. You should find a way to involve the person who has taken over your property in a criminal case. Then out of fear of going to jail, he will vacate your property. But the elderly man replied, No son, I want to get it vacated the right way. Just tell me how much more time it will take. I asked, Did your lawyer not tell you? He said, son, he keeps telling me it will happen next year. And when next year comes, he says it will happen the following year. This way, many years have passed. I have already paid him over six lakh rupees in fees. Gautama Buddha then said, sir, until you adopt some alternative methods, the person will not vacate your property. I tried to explain to him but he remained firm in his belief in fighting honestly. He told me his life story, which was full of honesty. 
I realized that it was his honesty that had become his problem, as the builder was taking advantage of it and sitting on his property. If he had really wanted to vacate the property, he could have done so, but his honesty was preventing him from getting justice in today's corrupt society. I felt deep sympathy for him, but honestly, it was very difficult for him to succeed with his honest methods. I believe there's nothing wrong with fighting fire with fire, but that honest man couldn't let go of his honesty and achieving justice honestly was difficult. Therefore, we should always maintain our mental balance and use our full intelligence and heart to face the tough times in life with patience. Similarly, we should never forget that we may not always succeed in life, or we may not always get everything we want in life. Friends, if you need help, you can make a list of every possible solution to your problem. Then think of someone you respect and ask yourself which solution they would choose. Instead of waiting for something to happen, take action. It will help you feel better. Friends, define the problem. Diagnose the situation so that your focus is on the problem, not just the symptoms. Problem-solving techniques include using flowcharts to identify the expected steps in the process and cause and effect diagrams to define and analyze the root causes. We hope that you learned a lot from this story of Gautama Buddha. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.